What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Travis and I produce daily content for homeowners and new HVAC technicians teaching you everything you need to know about heating and air. And we have a customer today who has a air conditioner that just won't do anything at all, won't come on, won't blow air, outside unit won't run. So if you want to see how I diagnose it, stay tuned and I'll be right back with you. Okay guys, I just spoke to the customer and what he's telling me is the air conditioner is completely dead it will not blow air the outside unit won't come on i went in there to the thermostat and they have a, i think one of the only mercury bulb thermostats which means it's not digital it's the only probably the only one that's left around but with that i couldn't tell if the unit uh doesn't have any low voltage going to the thermostat so with it not doing anything at all, more than likely either we're losing high voltage or losing low voltage. So with that being said, well, this is a heat pump, so I need to start at the air handler in the attic. So stay tight, and I'll meet you in the attic. All right, we're up here at the, the heat pump. And the very first thing that we see is there's water all in this drain pan. Now this system has what's called a float switch here installed in the drain pan that is to is a safety device that if this system ever backs up with any water water will not uh, come down on the ceiling it'll turn the system off so this is basically what's holding the system off and why the heat pump is not running so what we need to do is we need to first check the drain line to see if it's stopped up and then after that, we need to go outside, check our, our Freon charge, check our air filters, and make sure all that's correct. So let's go ahead and clean the drain. Okay, I cut the drain line here. And to clean the drain line, really all we need to do is you can either take a some compressed air, blow through the drain. We need to blow through this way, and we need to blow back towards the evaporator coil. More than likely, this is not stopped up. If it's stopped up, it's usually in this trap here. So basically, all we need to do is just blow that out because if air can go through it, water can go through it. So let's clean it out. And I put a new coupling on here. You don't want to put your mouth up against the old drain line. Trust me, it's not good. So I put a, a coupling here. Now what we're going to do is for the customer, and I sh and I made him aware, is we left a coupling unglued. And you can see this drain line has stopped up in the past, and people have just put coupling after coupling after coupling. If you leave one coupling unglued, this will make it easier and basically save the customer money that if they want to, if this same thing happens again, they can just pull this apart, clean it out. And they don't have to cut it, go buy a new coupling or anything like that. So, so let's get this water out. Okay, I tested first as I pushed down on the float switch. And now my heat pump has come on. So we know it was the float switch that was holding this out. And let's check our temperature drop to see if this unit is cooling. Okay, we're getting... 64 degrees on our supply all right and we're getting 78 degrees on our return what we're looking for is an 18 degree temperature drop it is very humid in the house right now so that could play a, a part in it but to make sure this system has proper freon and is working like it's supposed to we need to check the freon charge of the heat pump so I'll meet you at the condensing unit. Okay, and we got our gauges hooked up to the system. And what we're looking for, since there was water in the drain pan, we want to see if this if this heat pump was icing up. So we want to look over here on our suction side. Now on the outside is our pressure. On the inside, the green, since this is R22, that is our temperature. And we see we're running at a temperature on this unit of about 43 degrees. So that tells me that it's not the system icing up that's, that's causing the water in the, in, in the drain pan. 
uh, if our pressure was below 32 degrees I mean our temperature was below 32 degrees on our suction now that would tell us that there's a high likelihood that this thing well it would be low in Freon but the inside coil would be icing up and as that ice melted on that evaporator coil that would be what's filling up the drain pan but you can see here I don't know if you can if you can really see it on the on the camera but this is the drain line that's coming out from upstairs but all on the ground here is like this goop that was stopping up this drain line and that was the whole problem so the problem is not low in freon or anything like that it was just basically a stopped up drain so pretty easy service call to do um, and like I say we're getting about a 14 degree temperature drop right now but it's very very humid in, t in the house so and we just turned the air conditioner back on so uh, as this system runs and it starts getting taking the humidity out inside that temperature drop is, is going to go exactly where it's supposed to be but to, to be exactly sure what we're going to do is we're going to check the superheat on this air conditioner and just make sure it's within proper range. 